Hey, what's up, YouTube? My name is Mr. Graham, and this is going to be another episode of Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Wind Waker. In the last episode, I kind of got turned around. Uh, we realized I was running out of time, and uh, we had to do some things. But uh, first things first, I'm actually not going to be using this island for much, except uh, we're going to see what letter we have for us, just because that's what we should do. Um, I'm actually going to be coming back to this island later for something. But, uh, this is, this is basically just Beetle telling us that he has bombs now, and so, uh, we should go to his shop if we need bombs, now that we have bombs. And I said bombs a lot in that sentence, but, uh, anyway. He, he also gives us the Beetle chart that basically is a, uh, C chart that just shows us where he'll be, where we can find him. But, uh, anyway, we have some business to take care of in this area. Uh, we're gonna be going south right now, uh... Because our, our objective is actually south and uh, slightly east, I believe, if my, my cardinal direction is right. It's either south and east and south or west. Um, I'm pr it's one of the two, but anyway, um, w we're going to be going south and um, finding a flock of seagulls. Because that is actually going to be revealing a big octo, uh, which is basically the... The, the big scary octopus guy. I believe it's just straight from here. This is pretty much where I found him last time. Uh, just looking for seagulls. If we see it, if we see a flock of seagulls, we need to go there because that's where the uh, that's where we can find the bad guys. I, it was like right over here. Oh, oops. Okay. Um. Sorry about that. That's really distracting. I'm actually gonna get, be getting a. Uh, I'm going to be handling my disc problem in a s really soon because it's getting, to the, it's getting to the point where it's pretty annoying. And I believe that I've come across a way in which I can fix it. So it shouldn't be a problem for too much longer. Um, I, lo I got distracted and lost track of where I'm going. Uh, anyway, it doesn't look like I, s I see the seagulls anywhere around here. So I'm just going to cut to when I find them. So I will see you guys then. A few moments later. Okay, I think I s yeah. Okay, I found it. This is. Uh, so the well, I can't talk now. <laughs> welcome or er, not welcome. Meet Big Octo. Uh, he is a little like sea boss, I guess you could call him. Um, y you're gonna want to shoot all of his eyes out with the. Uh, oh, come on. Okay, with the cannon. You can also beat him with the boomerang. But it's much more difficult. And uh, I beat him last time with like 15, uh, 15 bombs. And it looks like I'm not even coming anywhere close to that this time. I'm doing really shitty. Hopefully I can beat him with bombs though and not fail. Um, Alright, just gotta get that one eye. That was way too high. That didn't get it either. Did that? Okay, looks like that one got it. Um, let's try to get that eye right now. Got it. Come on. So sorry that I'm not being very insightful. This is just difficult. And I don't want to have to do it again. Because if you fail, you actually get transported to a random location on the map. And so, it's best to not fail. Is that the last eye? Or, no, there's one more. Come on. Yes! Okay, I was a, I was a little bit nervous for a second because, as you can see, you're, you kind of get slowly uh, sucked up more and more by the by Big Octo, and so it's pretty easy to fail. But however, beating Big Octo is actually pretty damn rewarding because uh, number one, you never have to deal with at least this one. There's there are multiple Big Octos uh, on the ma like in the game, and they all drop some pretty nice rewards as well as. Uh, you don't have to deal with that specific one again. And, uh, so we're gonna get our, uh, grappling hook. I almost called it something else. I don't even know. My mind is not working right now. It's a little bit later than I normally record, and so I'm kind of out of it a little bit. But, um, because normally I kind of I record in the mornings, and it's like 11 at night, which is, by that time, usually I'm tired-ish, and so I don't really do anything. Like, this is when I, like, watch YouTube videos and stuff. Before I go to bed, not normally, uh, this isn't normally a time when I'm, like, trying to be lively or anything. But that completes one of our heart pieces. 
or uh, I mean one of our heart containers and uh, we still have a couple more um, more heart pieces to get in this episode so we're gonna be actually sailing uh, to this chart right or not chart this uh, sector right there and so I will uh, I will meet you guys where we need to be uh, actually when we get to that sector and then I'll explain more then okay so uh, first things first we're gonna want to give some bait to uh, the fish man of this isle or not island this uh, sea chart section I'm so bad with words which is kind of ironic because I'm doing let's plays which is a very involved sort of word thing but anyway this is the uh, six-eyed reef sort of sector of the map um, he doesn't say he doesn't say anything of importance we don't need to listen but uh, anyway so we're gonna want to be going uh, past this little post area and uh, there's going to be a submarine that we're gonna want to go into and uh, defeating all of the enemies will actually give us a uh, a pretty nice reward is this this is right right where where is the ship that I'm looking for oh it's over here I see it okay and we get no wind support okay so I'm gonna try to knock this out as quickly as possible and uh, m my recommended way for that is to use the boomerang, and then you can just wail at these uh, gob mob. Bleh, bleh, bleh. I can't speak moblins. They are moblins. I almost called them baka blins, and those are different enemies. And I don't know. Just don't listen to me. And then uh, we every time you beat one, you uh, are going to have to fight another one. It's not a big deal because they're fairly easy, especially if you use the boomerang. Uh, they're kind of annoying if you don't use the boomerang because then they avoid your attacks, or, or not avoid, but they uh, they block your attack. Oh, I can't see anything. <laughs> they block your attacks with their uh, staffs, but if you do use your boomerang, then they can't do anything to you because they're paralyzed and you can just hit them. That is the uh, essay of the year on how to be great at life. All right, let's just take care of him. Yeah. And I believe that's the last one. Yes, and that drops the ladder. Uh, don't break any of these um, any any of these like barrels or pots because they just have um, they just have enemies in them. So you can just avoid them and come o over here, and we will actually be collecting our heart piece. And uh, th then after this, we are going to be going uh, one s one c sh chart section place to the south to the uh, southeast. And uh, that's going to be where we're going to be getting our last uh, heart, uh, the last heart piece of this episode. Um, this is kind of going to be more of a, a, a collecty episode, if you couldn't tell. But uh, also, by the way, you, you want to be uh, getting as many bombs as possible. So, I, like, as I uh, did previously, which I probably should have mentioned at the time I was doing it. But uh, the, the little circle things that you uh, that you can break, break those uh, and get out the bombs because we need bombs for this next one. And chances are, especially if you're following this the way I did it, that you're going to have already used pretty much all of your bombs. Um, if or the, I, I'm so bad with things, you're gonna have used all of your bombs uh, fighting the big octo. And so anyway, I will meet you guys uh, where we need to be. Oh, and by the way, it's southwest. I, I accidentally said southeast. Go southwest. And that's that's not a plug for their airline, by the way. That's just the direction that we need to go. Which is good because we're actually... actually No, never mind. We're not already facing it. But uh, yeah, I'll meet you guys over there. Okay, so uh, we're pretty much here. Um, first things first, obviously, we're going to want to use our very last bait thing. For now, it's uh, okay, though, because we're about to be going to an air... We're about to be um, in a situation where we can buy more bait very easily. Because um, Beetle actually goes by uh, Outset Island, which is our next destination. Uh, right after we complete this little thing, actually, how many bombs? Do I, I have 30 bombs, so I, I'm I should be okay. I thought I had like a little bit less than that, but um, this this is a another sort of uh, quest, or not quest, but uh, 
collecty thing that you can do with bombs that is, uh... We don't need to listen to anything this guy says yet again. But, uh, you, you can, uh, collect or, or get more bomb. You need... I, my brain is not working properly at all. I'm telling you, I'm not gonna record at this hour of the day much if, <laughs> if my brain doesn't start functioning properly. I know some people can record at, like, 2 in the morning and they're fine. Uh, not me. I need to re I need to record early and when I'm when I have cognitive function. But I got thrown off from where we were. I don't even see the. We were looking for. It was. I believe it was this way, right? The tower. Yes, we're looking for the tower. So, uh, w what you want to do with this tower is, uh, you want to destroy all the cannons. Uh, do- or, cause this tower specifically shoots bombs at you. You need to shoot bombs back to destroy the, uh, destroy all the, uh, what's- the, the, the cannons. God, I'm so, so terrible at speaking right now. But, uh, yeah, anyway, I'm gonna do this sped up, cause this kinda takes a while for me, especially cause I'm awful at this. So, yeah. Okay, I actually did that in uh, enough bombs. And did you know, guys notice that uh, I shot a bomb out of the air with another bomb? I thought that was pretty cool. But uh, anyway, yeah, we gotta go up there and grab the heart piece, and then we'll be heading off to Outset Island to do some stuff. But uh, I think that actually... Okay, this is so impossible to do from this angle. It is not even- oh my- no- stop! Okay, I think I've- okay, yeah, I had to like completely turn myself around for that, that was such a horrible angle. But anyway, uh, we're gonna be grabbing the heart piece, and uh, I'm gonna sail over to Outset, and that's going to probably- I think, finish out the episode. Uh, this is probably a slightly shorter episode, with slightly less- uh, sequitory commentary because I'm not brain functiony right now. But, uh, anyway. Just, why is he not? Okay, you know what? It doesn't matter. We're just gonna do that. And get the heart piece. Uh, we only need two more to complete a heart container. But anyway, uh, like I was saying, um, but my brain doesn't really work, like, this is, the commentary was probably more non-sequitory, and the actual footage is shorter, but we had to do a lot of sailing around and stuff, and that takes time, and, uh, I want to get up early tomorrow, and it's already, like, 11.30, and I still need to do some other stuff, so I'm going to, uh, get that stuff done, sail over to Outset Island, and, uh, I will meet you guys there for the next episode. Hope you guys enjoyed. Goodbye.